Here we are on St. Charles Avenue, starting what might be a 50 mile loop through the city of New Orleans, riding up on the streetcar tracks because at this point, St. Charles does not have a bike lane. We're gonna take this down to Audubon Park. We're gonna take Mississippi River Trail and then cut up behind the airport and make our way up to Lake Pontchartrain. That's the plan anyway. One of the issues with riding up on the tracks, other than the puddles after it rains, which seems to be every day here in New Orleans, is that these concrete sections where the turns are, sometimes there's a, a big change in elevation. You know, it's like a small curb. And the other option is to be careful that you don't get caught in the uh, tracks. Oh, I knew that was mother. That was a transition track. Had it not been shooting video, I would have been fine. Shooting video with one hand and steering the bike would be kind of a challenge. The other thing is I tend to ride in the oncoming traffic lane so that I can see the trolley coming. So that I can see the streetcar coming. Approaching Audubon Park. Here on the left, Loyola University, New Orleans. And that's where we're going to enter the park and the park runs one way as far as i know there's a separate lane for cyclists and a separate lane for runners i believe it runs counterclockwise on both sides of the park. Okay, so this is where we're going to leave the, the loop. We're going to go this way. I believe it's called West Drive. It's under construction now. I think this is, uh, this might be Magazine Street here that they're repairing here regardless. I just asked one of the other cyclists that was here. He said he was waiting five minutes and this thing isn't moving. That's literally why I have to get to that trail right there. Here we are up on the Mississippi River Trail. I don't know if that's the same train or a different one. Looks like there's two tracks down there and the river's out there. I don't know if it's a really picturesque ride, a lot of industry here along the river. Refineries there on the other side, you probably can't see it. There's quite a few of these, whatever these things are, stacks pumping stations, usually in twos, along this trail. It's kind of unusual, this set of houses here, they've got to cross the bike path to get to their homes. There's the road over there. I guess that floods from time to time. Look, they're up on stilts. One thing I don't like about riding this bike path is there's usually a wind. Today it's a headwind for me. A couple other times I rode it, it was a tailwind this way and a headwind going back. But right now it's a, uh, not a super strong headwind, but there's a headwind. Here we go approaching Tinner. That's the main street there. Be a great place for a coffee shop. Sit here up here, enjoy along the river. That's another period cannon. A little park area there. I'm supposed to take that ramp here, but I'm gonna lazy because this is the street I'm gonna backtrack onto. on airline highway for a little bit 0.2 miles on airline highway nice shoulder at least all 
I believe this is going to take us behind the airport onto a gravel section. Nice gravel. It says I got to go 1.8 miles to Veterans Boulevard. Okay, there goes the caboose. Yay! I guess that's an engine, not a caboose. Luckily, I was only here about three minutes before it cleared. the airport here. It's pretty washboardy. But I have that redshift suspension stem. I think it's probably making a difference. Feels more spongy which is good. This right here is where I need to make my right. We go this way. And we take this to Loyola Drive, which I think is like the airport road. Sketchiest part of the ride, I think. A left here on Loyola, which I believe gets all of the uh, airport traffic. And I've got to get on this road. There's no way around it. I don't think I'm on it for very long. isn't worth it I got it right up on the sidewalk people don't give a shit I ended up backtracking a couple blocks because I realized from last time I did this ride there's virtually no food until you get up near the causeway on Lake Pontchartrain we've got a little gas station food some potato chips and some fresh Gatorade and okay, now I'm gonna circle this canal till I get to the lake I'm doing this very slow. Chances are you'll be able to do it a lot quicker than me. Like poncho train. Guess you could ride along the levee there. So we got miles of this ahead of me. There's the casino, Riverboat Casino. So I'm still, looks like about a mile from the causeway. I just decided to take one of these ramps up to see what the top of the levee looks like. There's where I've been riding along this path here, coming from that direction. And then it looks like you can ride on top of the levee. It's just grass. But if you have the appropriate bike, I guess you can do it. And there's a residential area there. And it looks like there is a flood control system there that I'm gonna pass in a minute here. Ever since I was on the Mississippi River Trail, the wind has just been horrendous. Another floodgate. Flood channel. Approaching the causeway. 
And last time we were here, we went up this ramp and went into, uh, I guess it would be Metairie, to get some lunch. I'm gonna keep going. Like a little day use area. <laughs> Metairie Hammond Highway for a little bit. I think we just gotta get over that bridge up there. along this Poncha Train Boulevard for a little bit. One third of a mile. I think we're at the marina. Nice bike path. Bicycle parking only. Gotta love that. So here goes where all the food is at the marina. So it looks like the bike lane ends at Canal Boulevard. So I'm just gonna go over to the other side there. And I'll ride this for a while, at least two miles. You know, this is kind of a barren ride in terms of resupplies. Just want you to realize that once you're on the Mississippi River Trail, there's not too much there. You might have to go up to a road that parallels it to get some supplies, but once you get past the airport area where I stopped at the Circle K, there's virtually no supplies. There's none along the lake and there's none along that canal there that's in the residential areas. Just be aware of when you carry water in the heat, you won't be able to resupply between the airport area and then probably the Metairie area would be the next place to resupply. It isn't like there's 7-Elevens all over the place. There's nothing out here in terms of supplies. Like this is the end of the path and they're doing some work and I've got to go up that road. It says 1.4 miles to Leon Simmons Drive. And I assume that's where I'll start to head south. But this is still Lakeshore, just past the uh, police department. There's a sign telling people that I may use the whole lane. I don't feel that many people down here believe that, that bicycles have a right to the road. Oh, here's Lake Pontchartrain again, my old friend. Just past the Army Reserve, and I got on uh, Leon Simon Drive, Simon Drive, and there's virtually no cars. Unfortunately, I'm only on it for a third of a mile, or half a mile. It's like another military installation. I'm on Press Drive. I might be in the town of Gentilly, and I think I'm gonna end up going onto a busy road, but I gotta stop and get something to drink. Right now, it looks like the rest of the ride's gonna be on roads with cars although it's pretty sparse but still there's no bike lane i have this shoulder that comes and goes i'm about to get on 90 i think and that has a dedicated bike lane i'm out of liquids and it's probably in the 90s walgreens burger king dollar tree all good stuff it looks like so i'm not going to go as much as i want to stop at the walgreens i'm going to assume there's going to be something else along here and here's my dedicated bike lane nice well i should have learned my lesson I've only gone about half a mile and it's already turned residential. So I don't know where I'm gonna get something to drink. Oh joy, looks like a gas station up here. There's a Walgreens. Looks like a convenience store. Okay, I'm on St. Bernard now. Dedicated bike lane, which is nice. Just turned off Gentilly. Stopped at the Walgreens at uh, Elysian Fields Highway. Okay, I turned along Rampart. Oh, this is St. Claude. Oh, I guess, because it's split, is it Rampart one way and St. Claude the other? So I'm at Elysian Fields and St. Claude Avenue. I'm gonna make a right. Entering the French yes. Quarter. All right, so, um... As you can see, I can kind of go pretty much the speed of the traffic. Person doesn't know what they're doing. So 
Village Cafe Duman. that that's weird I assume that's supposed to be happening oh here's the aquarium little side trip through there by the river walks and it's peanut butter mud look at this I just cleaned this is the work most of it cleaned off but actually picked up some rocks and stuck to it I cleaned like I said I cleaned most of it off look at the way that rocks have stuck to it hopefully it'll fly off when I start riding drive train seems to be okay we're pretty close to the end of our ride. 50, almost 55 miles. So it's a pretty good loop. There's variations on it. Like I said, you can come down through City Park, which might be a nicer ride than what I did. And just make sure you stop when you can for water and refreshments. In hindsight, I should have brought a lunch. Peanut butter and jelly would have been perfect. Coming up on Poe Fair, which is where we started. And I think that'll be it. Hope you enjoyed the ride. It's not a bad 55 mile loop.